see for a getaway car top down and we're driving just to feel y'all moving away to the sea moving away can't you see sand in your feet feel the breeze in the summertime stars in the sky one dying for the first time moving away to the sea uh, hey guys, welcome back to GTA Online and welcome to my hangar because this week there is double money on the uh, air cargo if you sell the air cargo from your hangar business, which is great news because Rockstar usually starts giving some really good double money for businesses a few weeks before the next DLC update. And we are expecting the summer update to come out in the next few weeks. If Rockstar is still on schedule, usually it's the last Thursday of July. So definitely keep that in mind when you see these discounts and sales on vehicles this week and the following few weeks. Because the last thing you want is to be broke or out of money for that summer DLC. Good rule of thumb is usually five to ten million dollars saved up so you can buy any of the businesses, the properties, a few vehicles, anything more than ten million is bonus. And as for the question of should you do the hangar double money sell missions, the air cargo, uh, comes down to three answers. The first answer is if you do not like flying aircraft or you're not that good at it or you get frustrated, go ahead and pass. If you love flying these aircraft, Definitely consider taking advantage of the double money because these missions are very fun. And the third answer is if you have a friend to run these back to back with, you can source two cargo for each of you. And then after each cell mission, switch back and forth between your hangar and your friend's hangar. And that will help with the uh, cooldown. There is a cooldown for sor sourcing the cargo. So definitely consider that if you have a friend to run these with. It is the least efficient for the double money for the businesses, but it can still be a ton of fun. Okay, moving on to the podium vehicle over at the casino. Uh, this week's podium car is the Dubachi Wagner, which still holds a special place in my heart as it was the number one best performing supercar for quite a while. It held that spot for some time before the Krieger, before the Emrys, and it's still a great car to have in your collection as it looks great, it sounds amazing, and it still is a lot of fun to drive. Still a very good driving experience, so definitely worth spinning the wheel for this week. Starting off with vehicle discounts this week, we have a free vehicle on the Elitist Travel website, the Ultralight, which is actually one of my favorite vehicles to relax in and take in some sights, a hobbyist little aircraft, very cool. Moving on to the Legendary Motorsport website, we have 30% off the Progen T20, which used to be the best supercar in the game quite some time ago, years ago, and has been far outdated as far as performance. It's now on the bottom tier of uh, handling and speed, but it is still a beautiful car with the vertical opening doors. It has an active rear spoiler, and it is based on a McLaren P1, one of my favorite supercars out there in the real world. So consider it if you want it for your collection or you love the design, the looks of the vehicle, but hard pass performance wise. Next up, we have 30% off the Osiris, another OG original supercar. Again, very outdated and very underwhelming performance wise but it does look very nice as well with those goal wing doors as you can see on that picture. So again, hard pass performance wise, only purchase it if you really want it for the looks at 30% off this week. Over on the Warstock Cash and Carry website, we have 30% off the Scramjet, which was recently a podium vehicle, but if you did miss out on that or you still need one, it is a must-own vehicle being one of the funnest vehicles in the game, so you can pick one up for 30% off this week. Also, with a bigger discount, we have 40% off the FH100 this week which is based on one of my favorite real-world military helicopters, the Apache. And I would say this is borderline must-own. Definitely the Akula would be a better helicopter to have, as it has the stealth mode. You can go invisible when flying it. But if you already have the Akula and you do not have the Hunter, definitely consider picking this up. 
as it has the barrage missiles, which fire off eight or so rockets all at once, and it has a pretty devastating front gun that a co-pilot can use. A lot of fun to take out the hunter every once in a while. Moving on, we have 40% off the Bombushka, which is absolutely useless. However, it is good fun as that rear door opens up and you can find yourself loading up vehicles, Ruiner 2000s, and getting on some random adventures with your friends. Again, as far as being useful, hard pass. If you enjoy dogfights or taking the battles to the sky, the Starling is a must-own aircraft and you can pick one up for 40% off this week, which is a great deal. And it is a must-own as both this and the Pyro have a tighter turning radius than the Hydras and the Lasers, so you can outmaneuver, outturn, and outgun Hydra pilots with both this and the Pyro. However, the Starling has a very powerful boost, which helps it get out of the way of rockets or those explosive cannons. So definitely consider picking one up, again, if you do enjoy flying these aircrafts and going into battle. Next up is 40% off the Rogue, which is not very good. It does hold two people, which is cool, but it is a very twitchy airplane, and it will get blown out of the sky by almost anything else. Anything else competitive, such as the Pyro, the Starling, the Hydra, the Laser. Uh, it's very twitchy again. It takes a long time to take off from the ground, so I would pass on it, unless you want something to just play around with or a new aircraft in your collection. Again, 40% off this week. And finally, we have 30% off the Rocket Voltic, which was very awesome when it first came out. But it is very outdated, and I would not recommend purchasing this one anymore, as the Scramjet can jump and use that Rocket Boost, which adds a lot more fun. So, hard pass on the Rocket Voltic. For the Twitch Prime discounts this week, if you have your Twitch Prime account linked to your Rockstar Social Club, there is 85% off the Amorgan, which is an absolute no-brainer. I'll be picking one up myself this week. It is an electric sports car, and there is a way to put a turbo on it, which you're not supposed to be able to do through the iFruit app on your cell phone in real life. Through the iFruit app, you can put a turbo on and uh, turns it into one of the best and highest performing sports cars in that category. So looking forward to trying it out this week. And also 85% off the APC, which is absolutely crazy. What a discount. I'm going to be selling the one I own, picking one of these up and pocketing that money to hold on to for the next DLC update. APC is one of the must-own weaponized vehicles as the armor is great. You can have that cannon or a missile launcher on top. And it is amphibious, so you can go in the water as well to get away or attack people in and out of land and sea. Very awesome weaponized vehicle. Property discounts this week are 50% off the hangers as well as 50% off of the upgrades for the hangers which is awesome. It goes with the double money for the air cargo sales this week. And also 50% off all of the garages that are independent from apartments or properties. So for these standalone garages, 50% off this week. Double money this week is going to be triple money and triple RP on the stockpile adversary modes if you want to take to the skies and do some dogfighting. Also, double money on the flight school objectives. And of course, for the first time in a while, some double money on a business, finally, with the hangers and selling that air cargo. Time trials for this week is going to be at Construction Site 2 for the RC Bandito time trial. The standard time trial is going to be down south at Elysian Island. And the premium race this week is going to be cutting corners for the supercar class. And that is everything you guys need to know for this week for double money as well as discounts on vehicles and properties. Let me know down in the comments below if you'll be doing the hangar missions and selling that air cargo for double money this week. As well as if any of those discounts caught your eye and if you'll be picking up any vehicles or properties at a discount. Until the next video, you guys stay cool, keep on playing GTA, and I will see you guys in the next video. H2TV, signing out.